All right. Welcome back, everyone. If you'd like to join the discussion, hit us up on Twitter at the FF Dynasty. We're going to keep moving with the rookie running back rankings. We just gave you number seven and number eight. We went uh, Rashad Penny at, at seven. Me personally, I'll take him as seven there, I guess, based off name cachet alone. Um, we also think there's probably a little bit better of an opportunity for him to get on the field as like a third down type of back. Um, with the receiving ability, even though the the catches aren't that far off from from Josh Adams, who we had at eight, it's probably a better. He's he's still a better receiver overall. We went we went Penny at seven. We went Josh Adams at eight. Let's get into number nine here. We haven't broken him down yet here on Married to the Game. It's a guy we're both we're everyone I think is pretty excited about. What do you got over there, Casey? Let's get into some John Kelly. Yeah, well, I mean, this is a guy who will basically punch you in the face off the on the field yeah and then off the field he's just all smiles all day long and he skateboards <laughs> is that is that i mean is that something extra for you you, you got a heart you that's got pretty a much my breakdown for... of of kelly that's not a terrible breakdown especially with, I mean, if you're skateboarding <laughs> but skateboard snowboard anything like that just the, right up casey's alley the interviews and all that kind of stuff and people you know, just pictures and all that. He's just always smiling, just seems to be a pretty, pretty vibrant guy. But then when he, it's just a totally different story when he gets on the field. Yeah. I mean, when you watch him, I watched the interview after the Georgia Tech game uh, in 17, which is like the first game of their season. Yeah. He came out and, and just crushed it for his team that game, scored four yeah. touchdowns. They were trailing a lot of that game. He scored the touchdown to, to, to send it to overtime. He scored like two more touchdowns in overtime, yeah. one to tie it up, one to win the game. Um, and, and after the game, he yeah, you're right, smile from ear to ear. But it wasn't like, oh, my gosh, look what I just did. He was he was really trying to talk about the team and what it meant for the program and, and everything moving forward and giving credit to everyone else. Um, and he wasn't trying to make it about himself, but you could tell, you know, he was genuinely excited. It, it, it was a good interview, and you can watch some more stuff on him. Um, Tennessee does a pretty good job there with their media program, too. They take yeah. you kind of into the mind of – John Kelly and he goes into this off the field stuff and it's all very appealing and, and all that. But I mean, that's just kind of a bonus for us here. Yeah, we're not going to miss a good interview. No, we're not. <laughs> but that's not only that's not it that we don't like that yeah. was kind of the, one of the first things we mentioned. But that really that's like one of the last things I look at. And it's just kind of a bonus. Sure. But when you watch this dude's play on the field, well, I mean, real quick, while we're talking about the character, he did get himself in a little bit of off he did. the field trouble. He got he had a, a marijuana uh, misdemeanor where he was pulled over because he had a dang headlight out mm. so well, maybe you can't that's be why getting, it's all smiles you can't you know <laughs> yeah, he's relaxed been known man. to make you smile listen every nfl team it's been it's a fact you gotta draft a weed guy <laughs> you have one you draft, on your the, roster? you draft the weed guy usually pays off for you right right <laughs> little weed ain't never hurt nobody anyway <laughs> especially in college yeah, they should prescribe that for pain versus pain medication. But that's a different discussion. Anyways, he was Especially suspended. He was suspended for a game uh, versus Kentucky. They lost that game. Shocking. <laughs> uh, anyway, that is definitely a red flag-ish, a red-ish flag. Um, but, I mean, to watch this dude on the field, he's basically... 100 miles an hour switching lanes like whoa. Like, everything this dude does is... Like whoa. Like he puts that shoulder down with mean intentions. Like, whoa. Oh, and he's about sure. to run you over. Like some of these dudes need counseling after what they just got done to them. <laughs> well, you gotta, like, whoa. you gotta play that first one again. You gotta give me that twice. Hundred miles an hour switching lanes. Like, whoa. Hundred miles an hour switching lanes. <laughs> like, whoa. Like, whoa. We're definitely. This one's gonna get cited on the uh, YouTube. We're not gonna be able to monetize this one. They're gonna be like copyrighted <laughs> music. Like whoa, mm -hmm. there there is a bit of weight discrepancy when you look around on this guy. Yeah, so I'm sick of these weights. Can somebody just weigh this guy? <laughs> <laughs> just call it a wrap because like if we, I've seen him listed at six one two hundred, six foot two ten, and five then I nine two oh five over here. And then I saw him at one eighty eight from the from the uh, senior bowl. So I I don't know what to think. We can't know anything until we get to the combine about anyone like literally there's nothing you could actually know before the combine i mean the combine <laughs> is literally everything is kelly not a junior was he are you sure no he came junior. out early he's a junior he was that, yeah how was he at the senior bowl though oh true well then what am i thinking about well, some, maybe some other maybe akram wadley is definitely waiting oh yeah he waited in at 188 for sure someone made sure to bowl. tell us that so i guess he wasn't on the <laughs> senior bowl wait so okay so 
We got two hundred five, two ten, two hundred. Good catch. Hopefully, somewhere more towards well, yeah, the two ten range. Yeah, the two ten, two twelve range is kind of. I saw that. I I choose to go with that one because I want him to be oh, two ten, two twelve. Be bigger. Not, if he's two hundred five, want that BMI up. Huh? I actually really don't care that much if he's two hundred five. The way he runs and what he does, he's got plenty of power in his game that'll nasty running easily style. translate to the NFL. It's not like he's not. It's not a Fugazi. It's oh. it's the real deal. Fugazi. <laughs> it's a Fugazi. Um, but, but my couple of things that I have on him is the balance. Leg drive is top notch. The stiff arms mean. Got a great pad level. Yo, outstanding balance. Stays on his feet Always. is what you hear from yeah. the uh, per, uh, com- commentators. Like keeps his balance. Kept his balance and kept it moving. For Stays sure. on his feet. Those are the things you hear. You don't see. You don't hear tripped up. And, from and this then, dude. then the, the other things <laughs> you, you don't hear tripped. The up. other things you hear are just the clacking of him just smashing somebody's pads. <laughs> Clickety clack. He's always. He's got a great forward lean. Every time he goes Yo, down, it's this three, dude four is more yards. Sprite and codeine with a Jolly Rancher. Man, his pad level <laughs> is on some crazy <laughs> lean. Got some lean. On got that some lean. lean. Um, I, just, got, I just broke his stride there. I had sure. to get that lean That's in. It's all though. good. He's he's <laughs> got he's got shorter steps. Make for like a nice quick strong cut. I like that. Um, <laughs> what was that? <laughs> he so uses. His, I think he uses his, his different gears really well to set up defenders, and and he kind you know he'll he'll kind of play you on how fast he is or how fast he's going, and then he'll slow it down or speed it up to set up a block or or to set his defender up and get a better angle or better space, and then just blow through that with with really solid bursts. The top end speed isn't phenomenal, but it's, it's yo it's okay. He was he was a. Uh, he was tracked at twenty one point seven no, miles per I hour. I don't think that was real. It was on the TV screen. Yeah, <laughs> had to be real. It literally That's showed fast. the little graphic where the point, you know, yeah, whatever was going. I up. think that was somebody's made up perception of measuring. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. It looks about twenty one point seven because MPGs <laughs> made that up. No, that, I mean, I just did see people doing that. All I the- do think that was a little bit of an anomaly. He doesn't quite look that freaking right. fast, um, but he does look pretty quick. But I he's mean, got plenty of burst and speed to. To get past guys, and and then when he does, uh, ma- he he can certainly make you miss and create all on his own. Um, but if he chooses to go through you, he probably will win that battle. I mean, and just finishes the run strong, solid pass catching, good in pass pro. Well, it really checks all the boxes. Really, if you want to get down to it, you could. Ser- I I think that you could make. There's obviously not a lot of tape and stuff to look at, and he didn't get a ton of run, um, but. If you wanted to be like, I'm taking him over Penny and Josh Adams, I couldn't be that upset if with If I had you, the really. meatloaf clip that was like, you took the words right out of my mouth, that's what I'd play right here. <laughs> Love it. I don't have it yet. It's going to come on the board. I got to get that locked up. But you're exactly right, man. Like, depending on where this dude lands, I could be all over him. Like, I want to take him. I wanted to come He's in here and be like, John Kelly at seven. Legitimately checks all the boxes for me. Sure. Well, that's my favorite part about him is the first half of the season, first two-thirds of the season, his consistency in the box score is not not you know obviously in college especially the box scores can be so deceiving but the consistency on the the attempts he's basically carrying the carrying the rock 20 times a game and his averages are great but what i love is that like the longs are only like 27 and 38 so it's not like he's getting all those yards on a 90 yard run or something which is not it's not a bad thing to go 90 yards but i do like can, a good long run uh, everybody loves a good long run but if that if, if you're if you're it's not how the, long it is it's long, how you use it right right the long runs can skew things but the consistent pass catching repertoire to break out the year for this guy is awesome and then every, it kind of tailed off a little bit after bama but everybody plays a little slower and not as not as, everybody's healthy after playing bama but the first two-thirds of the season and just running and receiving i mean just a, the definition of a dual threat well i think i think looking at the box scores though he doesn't have as much production as these other two guys that we just talked about no. and that's like the main thing that kind of separates him is that he hasn't he hasn't put it down on tape for multiple years he had basically a beginning to this la- an end to 16 and a beginning to 17 that were phenomenal and awesome to watch and then that Tennessee team just freaking fell off the rails well do we have to talk about the elephant in the room here in this huge gleaming light that blinds you like a Tennessee running back that didn't get a lot of run but oh, catches it I mean and he was behind that dude so that's, that's part of why well he wasn't. that's the thing is it's like you you we've already you, 
it's Alvin Kamara is like, yeah, take the words right. out of Casey's mouth last week with the grunting. It's like, you know, where do you go from here? But a Tennessee running back that can do both run and catch that didn't get a lot of run. We just saw this movie. If it would be, even if he came out and was three quarters of what Alvin Kamara did, that would right. be uh, amazing. But well, the, the whole Kamara thing was that he was this pass catcher and elusive in space and all that stuff is, is you know, why initially he was interesting to people and we liked him a lot last year but you know people didn't love his between the tackle running which i actually didn't i thought it was better than most people but this kid's between the tackle running is definitely better than kamara's was on tape right when you just look at it and, and all the all the you know boxes that he checks in that portion and then his receiving abilities is <clears throat> pretty solid yeah well before i even mention the receiving ability I mean, just just the running ability. He doesn't he doesn't shy away from contact, and may, maybe at the next level, he he will, maybe a little bit. Because like I mean, I love the attitude and not shying away from it. But like sometimes I do think he unnecessarily seeked out con- contact, especially in the second level when he probably could have juked his way out out of some of that. But he just wanted to kind of make a point. But I like, I'm not gonna try and knock him for that because I do like that attitude and like he. He turns a small loss into a small gain, oh, and I he saw turns a, a short gain into five yards. I like, saw a stat that said that he didn't lose a single yard from scrimmage all year. Like he never that's had a negative run. That he's the definition. Impressive. He's the definition of legs churning. I don't I know if that was that through stat, the full season, but, but I saw an interview with the Butch Jones and and some guy who was talking to him, and I don't know if it was all the way through the season or what it was, but at some point in the season, he hadn't lost a scrimmage yard. Like, he had at least gotten zero yards on the on every carry. That's, that's pretty Just cool. To your, that's pretty to cool. your point right yeah. there. I've never seen that kind of stat before for a running back, so I'm it, kind of speechless at this moment. He's, he doesn't, as, as, as shifty as his feet are and as quick as his feet are, he doesn't dance. If he cuts it outside, it's pretty much a last resort but he can get to the edge. I'm almost surprised that he didn't try to bust it outside more often than he did because he could. Um, but he just he seems to want to press it up field, and you know he can he can slow himself down to get you off balance. He can show you a little patience, a little hesitation, and he can get around you. He can split you. He can spin move, jump cut. There's just so many ways that this guy can beat you. And I have probably more faith in him to beat a guy one on one than I do. Penny or Adams. I think I'm I think if you got to put me in a one on one position, let me get Josh John Kelly out there. Yeah, I mean I, I'm I can't really disagree with you too hard. Yeah. Uh, like I said, I mean there's a definitely a case to be made that you could take him over both of those guys and slot him right at 7. Right. Um and you're just a little like you said, a little scared of the lack of overall production that you see from him and the consistency production of sustained production exactly so but then you guys already brought it up the receiving game i think he's very smooth he had 37 receptions in 2017 alone which again i the, another reason why i can't if you want to throw him up there because of the pass catching ability alone mm-hmm. just like we talked about with penny maybe being a little bit more third downish off the rip but this guy definitely could be a every down back i think well, i think the hands many, that's as many catches as penny had in his career right there just year. about just about four less uh, or five less um i think the hands look strong he makes he makes catches outside of his body you see him reach back behind him yeah. you, you see him not break that stride like I've, I've said about other guys all these dudes can pretty much pass catch um i don't i don't think i really saw him lining up out wide anywhere but i did really love the routes that he was running out of the backfield I think he's another one of these guys like like we're going to get to another tier with Wadley and Justin Jackson, but I think he and he plays like them in a sense where he has that awareness to be able to break away from the line of scrimmage and become an outlet for his quarterback when he was supposed to be pass protecting. But I mean, there's a there's a there's a split second when you realize there's no money for me to pass protect, and you right. can see like the Kellen Balages who who don't have that awareness to break away they're just still just kind of who should i who should i block who should i block and they're not they don't right. they don't realize when it's time to cut cut that and get out and be an outlet and, and he, he has that um and i think he's lethal in the open open field i think he sets up a screen pass really well he's good at just kind of giving the defender a little shoulder like he's gonna fake block it and then he squeezes out very soon he probably learned a lot of that from kamara um they're both very similar in that in that standpoint i think that uh he's pretty good in pass protection i did see him whiff a couple times and one time he got blown up but he still gave a second effort and gave his quarterback enough time to get rid of the ball for the most part he's out there laying wood i like him in that regard 
I just I really like everything there is about John Kelly, and I'm super excited to draft him more so almost than I am the two dudes that I just said I would take ahead of him. Looks like you got a little bit of a problem. Looks like we all got a problem. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Yeah, but so, we got to come on here and make a call because people want to hear well, these rankings. I, I, I'm, and I'm okay with the call that I have right now. And just like we said, I, I, I'm, I'm okay if you want to put him at, at seven. That's fine with me. And I, I'm not going to argue with you too much. And obviously, we're landing spot, landing spot, landing spot. I'll just say it three times in a row so we yeah. can get a couple of them out there. Sure. Yeah. Um, but it, this guy could land in somewhere awesome. And this, maybe I want him over carry on Johnson. You know, I who knows? Woo, over johnson i'm just 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 making a point yeah just no, i got point. you all right well i think that's uh i think that's long enough on john kelly we like him in number nine here we're definitely excited to take him let's go to break we'll be back for your pleasure